Hey guys, it's Josh with FieldBros.com and ZyTutorials.com. And right now I'm going to show you a cool little way to use uh, anchors in your different uh, menus and uh, text. So see, now that I click the actual resume right here, it brought me right down to uh, Justin's resume. Because if we actually went to um, you know, the Justin page, it brings you right down to here. We also um, can click right there. It brings us to the main page, but right down to the actual uh, team block. And we'll go back. There's also these little guys that um, a nice smooth scrolls to different places on the page. I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. First thing we're going to want is an actual module. So you come up here to this URL and install this module. So I usually just um, copy link location. And then in my modules. I was um, install a new module, and I was paste that URL right here and say uh, install. I already have it installed. There it is right there. So I just I just enabled that. And you can you can add anchors without uh, that smooth scroll, but it won't do the smooth scroll when you're when you're going to an anchor anchor on a page that's already um. A link that's on the page. So let's go to um, let's go to this resume one. Let me show you a couple things. So I'm using a WYSIWYG, and it's really easy. It's CK uh, editor, I think. And here's how the uh, how easy it is to actually add an anchor. So I'm just gonna come to the bottom and add an anchor. Um, let's say Western Reserve. So I'm just gonna click here, little anchor icon right here. Let me say question reserve. Let me say okay. I'm gonna come back up here. I'm just gonna add a new a new anchor. We're gonna call it uh, obviously Western Reserve. And now I'm just gonna highlight the text. I'm gonna add a link to it. And this little drop down right here says uh link in the or link anchor in the text and by the anchor name just western reserve and say okay so now when we save this come down here and click western reserve brings us down to western reserve but you see how um it was covered up by my uh scrolling header so let's go back through here and let's um let's edit something and add something to it So from here now we can um we actually have to go into the text. It's gonna be a pain about to find. So let's go into our source. Expand this. I'm gonna pause it and go find this. Alright, so my anchor's right here. I just use Control F to find it. You press Control F, it brings up your find window right there. And I search it like that. You pretty much use Control F on anything. So we just want to add this little little code snippet right here. We're gonna say um, uh, style padding top. We'll say 100. 100 should be fine. So now when we save it, and now we click our little button. It's gonna stop it above the Western Reserve insurance, but that's pretty useful. Cause now it doesn't drop it down right here or wherever it was. So let me uh, show you another way that we can do this. So let me go. Let me go home and show you what um. I got linking from the team, from the team button. I don't know how to add the padding to this one, but you click on team. It does a, uh, a jump like that, and I can't get it to scroll, because I'm not sure how to do it from uh, the main menu. But I have it linking to this, so if I inspect the element, I got it linking to uh, block views team block one. The way I did that in my main menu is I went to uh, my structure, menus, main menus, and at the bottom under the actual uh, team right here, I sent it to the node that it, that it was on, which that's my main page node, and then for the actual block, 
um, name, I just put Pam in the black name. And if I were to put it, um, okay, I go back. If I put it like a, if I put a tag right here and put maybe like 800 pixels on it, I could probably get it to stop like up here, up right here or something, or maybe like 300 pixels on it. But it's just easy to link it right to the actual, uh, the block. And it's the same thing I got um, Justin linking, uh, I got his resume linking to the actual block. So I could do the same thing, I could link it to an actual anchor inside the text and put padding on it. But if we um, if we search the, or view the element of that, we'll see it's um, it's just uh, block 72, block block 72. So if we edit this page, I can find the node, block block 72, uh, but if you click edit, the nodes right here, uh, node 58. Let's go back to our uh, our menus. And the list of links. Let me show you what Justin's resume looks like. So let's edit this one. And we see it's going to node 58, then block block 72, and that's how that links. So if you want to add from page to page, or something in the actual page to something in your page, you can add padding to it. I'm not sure how to add actual padding to the anchor. I could probably CSS it. And I hope that's helpful, guys, but I'll talk to you soon.